I first met Evans Rideau in 2003 when he came to the uh, LaSalle Bank Chicago Marathon. It was his debut marathon. We knew he was a talented athlete, but we didn't know how talented until he ran his 205.50 at the time. It was the world debut uh, world record of the marathon. And then in 2004, of course, he went on to win the London Marathon and then came back to Chicago with those two majors in his belt. And the only thing he did wrong, he won the race, he ran beautifully, but he was uh, in such great shape that he thought he could talk the rabbits out of running the pace that the race organizers wanted them to run. And he got them to run a little bit too fast in the beginning. He still held on and ran great, but uh, very aggressive runner and uh, a great, not necessarily tactician, but uh, this guy, when he put the jets on, he was as good looking a runner in full flight as I've ever seen. He has a very smooth running style. He doesn't look disturbed, not with his arms or his legs move very relaxed and smooth. And uh, he keeps his posture. He does not break down a lot towards the end. I ran uh, because I had my father before I ran. My father told me he was a runner. He was running against the volcano. Long time ago, 70s, 60s or 50s. And then he told me he was, was they were, by that time they were giving out some, some cows, goats and sheep. Yeah. So, so it came to my mind that my father was a runner. And then after that, I went to school and then this uh, low competition in schools. And I was running very good, and I was doing good, and then after that, the, it came some guys like Moskiptanui, Maria Chelimo, and my Ismail Kiroi. So those guys inspired a lot of people, in, especially in Maragua, with the runners. Because those guys came in, and then they were, I think, they were changing their lives. Their life was different with those guys, and they were running, playing some records, having good cars. So they said, okay, this guy, maybe there's something good to eat. So we tried to, to follow the boosters so of those guys. I was surprised you go out so fast. I expected like... You know, well, Evans had a low time uh, the last two years. He was sick for quite some time. First he got injured, then he was sick. and He had a very hard time. Took a few things, not really uh, mm, very serious anymore. And uh, always tried, but then lost it again. And, this time, I must say, is the first time he, for quite a few months, continuously trained and focused better than, uh, again, in the last three years. It's very difficult for any athlete in any sport to be at the top, have it either an injury or some personal difficulties, and then to try to retool and come back to the top because now there's been younger guys who are hungry who are just coming on who have never had those injuries or personal problems and and they've got you know all that freshness in their legs and in their head but it has been done it can be done his progress is so obvious from literally week to week to week that i expect him uh, i don't know if you can call him the dark horse now since everybody knows him but everybody knows how many problems he had uh, so uh, I'm very positively surprised how well uh, he holds things together and hopefully he will do a great race in Chicago. Just seeing him in training here in Boulder for a short period of time it looked like the old Evans. I think for now <laughs> I cannot say something because you know since I ran Chicago it's now like a year ago and uh, you know, there's much difference between now and that time, but for now, about, according to the training, the training is going on very well for me right now, and now I'm now picking up very good, and uh, I've seen the lineup, lineup of Chicago. Those guys have uh, run some good races, and they have run, run good times, so I think that Chicago race will be a very tough race, so for what I'm preparing for now, I know that, that the rest will be very tough.